The final days of summer are here and there's no better time to sneak in some final activities or projects around the house, but months of wear and tear can lead to you waking up sore and feeling beat up if you don't take the time to take care of yourself. John is sitting down asking questions on preventing further injuries. Yeah, and joining me right now is uh, Excel physical therapist uh, Ben Ruggles. Thank you so much for joining us here on Two News at Five. Ben, you brought props, and we're going to get to some of these in a second. We just saw some video of some uh, pickleball. We'll get to that. But summer is a very active time for people getting outside. As Riley just mentioned, people getting out in their yards, doing some yard work, maybe even some exercise with some pickleball. What are some of the things that you are seeing, uh, most common injuries that you're treating right now? You know, over at Excel, we're seeing a lot of different uh, qualities of injuries, most of them being a lot of overuse type injuries, people getting really active, as well as participating more and more throughout their life, as well as different recreational activities. Some of the things that we're seeing being shoulders, back pain, neck pain, all of the above over at Excel. Yeah, you know, you brought these props. Let's get some of these right here. First off, pickleball. Uh, we've talked a lot about this this summer. It's one of the fastest growing sports in the entire country. You also have uh, the cornhole right there. A lot Absolutely. of people have this in their backyard right now. So if you're doing either one of these activities, what's what are some of the things you need to do beforehand and then afterward? You know, one, one of the biggest things that people forget the most common is just making sure that you stay hydrated. Hydration can be a huge thing, but beyond that, making sure that you're doing plenty of arm circles, getting some good stretching. A lot of the time I'm educating people on trying to make sure that you're stretching for a longer period of time without overstretching to being a more severe or uncomfortable level of stretch. So you hear people, when they hear stretching, they're thinking, okay, how long do I have to do this? How intense of a stretch? So how intense and how long beforehand, Ben? And then afterward, how much time should they spend? Absolutely. Stretching intensity is one of the biggest things that I go over. Uh, usually if we're going to grade it on a 0 to 10 scale, 10 being the most intense thing you can imagine, we're probably looking at like a 2, maybe a 3 on that scale. Very mild and comfortable. Generally trying to get a comfortable stretch for about 20, maybe 30 seconds at a time. Uh, repeating for a full minute. Okay, so it's certainly not going to take a lot of time to get no. ready and then afterwards no. as well. You mentioned hydrating. We hear that so much. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Are we talking about just water? What else could we be talking about and how much should they be drinking? Honestly, water is one of the biggest ones that we often lose upon. If you're anything like myself, we drink too much coffee and uh, pops and things along those lines. So making sure that water is a big factor, but making sure electrolytes through different sports drinks like Gatorade or Powerade would also be a good option. All right, so the weekend that. warrior is out there. They get out there, they work during the week, they get out there on the weekends, they play a little bit hard, they get something tweaked. Ben, what's the first thing somebody needs to do uh, once they feel something, a little discomfort or, or an injury? You know, the first thing is generally going to be resting from that activity for, you know, a couple of days. When you're still seeing a lot of those symptoms or those pain symptoms reside for two to three days, it might be start time to think about using a heating pack or even coming over to Excel and letting us take a little bit of a look, see if we can get you in for an assessment. Yeah, because we want to get you back out there to be able to enjoy your pickleball and your cornhole. Uh, again, Ben Ruggles, physical therapist at Excel Physical Therapy and Dayton. Thank you so much. Great yeah, insight, Ben. It. Appreciate it. Thank you.